Hi everyone, welcome back to Curriculum Mapping with G Suite. Richard here. I was uh, taking a trip down memory lane and I am noticing that this community started back in April of 2016 and we are now of course in 2018 and have 1,680 members and a lot of innovation has taken place uh, since the beginning of this community. And I just wanted to thank all of you for your contributions to really making this tool an effective uh, curriculum mapping um, alternative to other options that are out there. So I thought because of all this innovation, it may be helpful to have a quick rundown of where things kind of stand right now in the process. If you're looking just to get started, this would be a very high level uh, overview of the process. So I've got, I think, about 10 tabs open at the top, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about each of them, uh, building upon concepts to eventually getting to the Google site that houses the curriculum map. So the first step is, is simply to establish a curriculum admin account in your G Suite domain. This will guarantee that your curriculum lives on with your school and not with any one individual. And within that Google Drive, you'll want to establish uh, an organizational structure that includes an admin folder and a unit planet folder at a bare minimum. Um, as you build this, you will find other opportunities to create folders that serve other purposes. Um, so that's the first step. Uh, the next can kind of happen in any order, so you'll want to get data from your student information system. So that's usually just in the form of an export that includes your teachers, courses, subject areas, and grades. This information uh, will feed a Google form that serves as a template request form. So what happens here is the form is filled out, and then a script uh, or a Google add-on known as Autocrat generates a Google Doc that is then delivered to the teacher and put into a specific folder. So the template could look something like this. Uh, this is what we use to how we document units in our curriculum. It consists of four stages, um, but again this is completely customizable. Uh, any school can use their own process um, for documenting their their curriculum in a Google Doc. The request form again is this is built through um, it, it's created after when forms are submitted so um, new rows are added as requests are made and we're gathering data to be used um, later in the process. So as I said before, all of the unit planners are automatically directed into one folder. And then what's interesting with that is we can then pull them out and, or not pull them out, but we can list them in another spreadsheet. So this particular file is a template uh, that you can find in the community in the about section. And it's called the Data Studio Google Sheet template. And if you make a copy, um, you have to give it a few seconds, but a, an option will load called Curriculum Map. And there's five steps that you can follow that will essentially list and relist each night all of the files and updated information um, in a Google Sheet. So that's helpful, so you can see when the document was last updated, um, if there was any change in the name of the file, um, that's also very helpful. So this is reloaded and reloaded, and then one thing I learned within this community uh, is the existence of Data Studio. I hadn't known about this when I had launched the community, and was using um, awesome tables, but uh, I've completely migrated to Data Studio because it's, well, it's free and 
you can connect a, a Google Sheet. So it's just a matter of looking at some of the documentation that's out there on how to work with Data Studio to build your tables. Um, and again, these give you options to filter and sort uh, your curriculum in tables and so on and so forth. So once you have the table built, uh, you can then embed that in a Google site such as this. Um, and as you're going, you'll come up with other ideas that would be handy to have on a curriculum mapping site. So from beginning to the end, it's simply creating the organization, setting up the spreadsheets, creating the data studio file, and then at the very end, um, putting all of the information into a Google site as sort of your curriculum mapping hub. So I hope that's helpful in kind of painting a picture of what that process looks like. Um, there is lots of great documentation built into the community here. Um, some of it is not yet up to date, um, but there's some pretty good um, getting started instructions here as well. So I just wanted to be sure for those of you who are just joining, um, have a sense of where to go to uh, start building your own maps. And feel free to post questions in the community. Thanks for watching. Bye.